SPARC is a danceability program here in New England. We're the first program teaching this method, which is really exciting. Um, and I started it to be um, a, you know, a, a new option for serving that minority, who I believe is you know, still very isolated. I had been in dance education for all of my adult life, and I was seeking a approach that would be more inclusive of all people. I found that a lot of the typical dance techniques that I had been teaching weren't inclusive of children and adults with disabilities. And so I, um, at this time, I discovered Danceability International, which is an organization that's been around for 30 years. It's all over the world. And I got certified to teach their method, which I found was absolutely inclusive. And that's um, what sold me, is that you can have students that are blind, students who are deaf with developmental disabilities, intellectual disabilities, all sorts of differences. And this method allows for that huge spectrum of differences to exist together. I myself love dance, I'm a choreographer, I'm always looking for um, ways that dance and specifically the performing arts can be used as vehicles for social change. I think it's really meaningful and important that art still is used for that purpose. Yeah, so what I noticed about Mitch, um, uh, my first class with him, is that he says yes to his own instincts a lot. He doesn't second guess his intuition. So that was very refreshing for me. It's actually a skill in improvisation that many people spend decades trying to get to that point. And so because he just goes for it and goes for it and goes for it um, with his own instincts, um, it was really a joy to work with him and to dance with him because it was like a, he when he gives other people permission to this, do the same. I think dance found Mitch a long time ago. This type of um, expressive dance, and he's been doing this for forever, for even like hours. He calls it his workout. Well, he has a pretty severe apraxia, expressive apraxia, so he's, he's difficult to communicate with, and it's, he's difficult to understand. So I think the dance is another way um, of expressing yourself and getting it out. I think it does in the gas. Uh, I was a dancing king. You like dancing because you're a dancing king? Yeah. Yeah. I was. It does it is my blood. We're inside of me. Mitch has trouble communicating with people. Uh, it's partly the way that his voice works. When he speaks, often people don't understand what he's saying. But he's got a lot going on internally, and he's got a lot uh, of desire to connect with people and to share. And one of the ways that he connects and he shares is through a variety of nonverbal forms of creativity and communication. And s music is one of those. He, he plays guitar. And another big one is motion and, and dance and movement. So very regularly, he'll start to do these kind of gestures and movements and dance moves. And it, it comes from a really deep part inside of him. You know, this part of him that is so able to to go into his body and express himself through movement and play and experimentation, all of a sudden he's getting validated uh, through a, a new context for that. People are seeing his, his nonverbal forms of communication and, and, and telling him um, that they're astounded at what he's doing and that they're giving him positive feedback about the creative uh, expression that he's doing. And that's just been pretty amazing for him because any moment that we can help somebody take the creative expression that they have um, inside of them that's not typically acknowledged and give them a platform to acknowledge that is a really special. Mitch is you know, vibrant, creative. Uh, he brings an energy that lets you open and connect. There is no what you feel like you need to do as much as you do what you feel. Is instead of being in a typical dance class, you have your own boundaries and you can even just um, it's fun because you're with people that you might have never met before and it's a really good inclusion exercise because anyone can do it. So what's really interesting is not only does this method um, allow 
for or you know allow and include so many differences it's also designed to be incredibly enriching for professional dancers and professional imp students of improvisation one of the hopes is that the experiences like Petra was talking about today like hmm, I wouldn't necessarily have been you know friends with or known the people in this class except we came together and we saw each other and we had this experience together and so now when I see you on the street you know or now I see you in the, our community there's not this division there's not this separation so that's the hope is that this can carry over outside the dance class. I am so excited because really with Michaela and this program we found like a place where Harper can just bloom and she loves it and I I, love it. I do bloom all the time and I love it. And she now, she just, this totally has motivated her in her. She's a freshman at Lincoln Academy and just decided to try out for their and guys and dolls. And the guys and dolls are looking at me to be a yeah, doll. Guys and dolls and she got a part so she's going to be on stage yeah, in the yeah, spring. Yeah, tomorrow. She's more open to associate with people. <laughs> more uh, open to being around someone she hasn't known for a long time. And uh, still, she was, it's, it's great that they include the special needs kids. It's phenomenal. I think this is the greatest program. I wish it ran all year. Spark has, you know, given Mitch that opportunity to be expressive and be a dancer in his own community not just on his own you know and that's what we want to just keep doing with all of our students all over Maine you know it's really it's important to bring this work to different places so that we can keep doing that and ultimately we're gonna have a dance company you know that's going to include individuals like Mitch and um, really be together and demonstrate what that can can look like we're, we're really looking to grow our program, you know, if anyone, if there's anyone who would like to get involved either as a teacher, as a volunteer, as a student, if you would like to bring a Spark class to your community, absolutely, uh, get a hold of us, sparkdanceprogram.org, that's, that's what we're doing.